Ozzy. Uh, yes, Harriet? Would you like to go to a movie tonight, or should we stay home and listen to the radio? Mm, I don't know. Movie sounds pretty good. What's playing? Let's see. Um, here's one. Wild Bob Welsh and Roaring Six Guns of the Badlands. Mm, no, you know I can't stand those musicals. <laughs> Why don't we just stay home and listen to the radio, huh? All right, dear. Hey, it's almost time for Bing Crosby. Let's go to the movies. <laughs> Oh, Ozzy, let's listen to the Crosby show, huh? Oh, all right, I'll turn on the Philco. When the blue of the night meets the gold of the day, someone waits for me. Philco Radio Time, produced and transcribed in Hollywood with John Scott Trotter and his orchestra, the Rhythm Airs, and Bing's guest. Uh, uh, say, Bing, who is your guest tonight? Well, I don't know, Ken. We haven't snagged anybody yet. They're all laying low, ducking work. <laughs> Bing, we gotta have guests. Why do we gotta? That's just a popular fallacy, Kenneth. Now, I listen to that program, uh, Young Dr. Malone, every day, and he never has guests. Never. <laughs> oh, yes, he does. He keeps his guests under ether. <laughs> That's the touch I'm using the next time we have hope up here. Uh, <laughs> Anesthetize that boy. What'll we do tonight? Oh, I think he's so cute. Who, Crosby? No, Ken Carpenter. <laughs> Just forget about the guest, Ken. Just leave the door open. Somebody will fall in here. Why don't they stop talking and let Crosby sing? Let's stop this talking, Ken, and I'll sing. John uh, Scott Trotter slowly turns and faces south. The rhythm has donned some Florida to type pedal pushers, and we all start scrambling for Tallahassee. <laughs> Oh, won't you listen, all you people on the southbound train Oh, won't you listen to my friendly advice All right, a quarter after seven We'll be pulling into paradise When you see land Kind of green and grassy Beneath the moon, bright beyond compare. When you hear blue jays chirping high and sassy, and catch one sniff of southern cooking hanging on the evening air. When you see folks, what kind of folks is this? Sounds like the grapes of wrath folks. And every smile bids you stay and rest. Get off that train, you're in Tallahassee, the Southland at its best. When you see that. The window of a plane Kind of green and grassy How in the world can you complain? Beneath the moon You'd ought to see the way it shines Right beyond compare The way it shines upon the pines When, when you hear blue jays Chirping high and sassy And catch one sniff of southern cooking Hanging on the evening air mm, Sun when you see four Have an after dinner chat All polite and classy Gentlemen all remove their hats And every smile Perfect harmony and peace Bid you stay and rest And the border your valise Get off that train You're in Tallahassee The capital city of Florida And, and the Southland It's best There is no doubt of it we do not exaggerate a bit. The Southland at its very best. Nice, Bing. You 
the group sang that song so convincingly that I'm ready to move right down to Tallahassee, bag, baggage, and Philco. Oh, Harriet, here comes a commercial. Uh oh, folks, here comes a commercial. <laughs> Oh, take it easy, Cross. First, I'd like to point out that we've sold an awful lot of Philco's in Tallahassee. Gee, Ozzie, don't you think it's cute the way he sneaks into a commercial? Look, Ken, stop trying to sneak into your commercial. It isn't a bit cute. <laughs> I agree with Crosby. If a man's got a commercial to read, he ought to step right up, throw out his chest, and read it. Hey, Ken, if you've got a commercial to read, why don't you just step right up, throw out your chest, and read it? <laughs> By golly, if that's your attitude, I'll do it. Attaboy, Carp. Attaboy, Bing. I'd rather hear him sneak into it. <laughs> well, folks, we really don't have to be sneaky about those sensational new Philco table model automatics. Philco lays it to you right on the line that they're the greatest performing table radio phonographs ever built. Compare them for tone and performance. Nobody will need to tell you that they have higher output or more undistorted tone. Actually, that's just an engineer's way of stating what your own ear can tell you quicker. So if you want big set performance and a powerful table model that looks like a million and plays like a dream, go listen to these new Philco radio phonographs at your Philco dealer now. Featherweight tone arm, no needles to change. Super smooth Philco automatic record changer, handles up to 12 records slick and quick. They're tops in table models from the world's largest radio manufacturer, Philco, famous for quality the world over. song called I Wished I Didn't Love You So from the perils of Pauline. I hope I sound a little more like a Paul than a Pauline. You folks are in peril. Well, if I had as many writers as hope, I'd come up with something. I wish I didn't love you so My love for you should have faded long ago I wish I didn't need you so Why must your kiss Torture me as long as this be smiling by now with some new tender friend smiling by now with my heart on the man but when I try Something in that heart says no You're still there I wish I didn't love you so Bing sing all night. He's got such a wonderful voice. So nice and fuzzy. Fuzzy? Uh, I thought I detected more of a moldy quality. <laughs> oh, speaking of fuzz, dear, that reminds me. You better clean your electric razor before you shave in the morning. My brand new razor? Why should I clean it? It's been used only twice. Three times, dear. Ricky used it this afternoon. He and Lindsay Crosby used it to give the cat a crew haircut. <laughs> My new razor, the crew of cat haircut? Harry, did you say Lindsley Crosby? <laughs> yes, dear. Bing's little boy. He wants to be a barber. I might have known one of those Crosby kids again. 
First it was Gary offering our David ten cents apiece for every Sinatra record he broke in Schwab's jukebox. <laughs> then the twins talking our boys into printing Bing's Day on all of our bath towels. Oh, well, I was getting tired of his and hers anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Never stuck to it. But Lindsay and Ricky using a good razor for clipping a cat, that's too much. Well, you're lucky I caught him when I did. When I stopped them, they'd finished the cat and were heading for Bing's house to trim his moose. <laughs> I wonder if Bing knows what Lindsay's up to. I doubt it, dear. I heard Lindsay say, Ricky, if this ever gets out, the groaner will get a long, long stick and give me a red caboose. <laughs> well, that settles it. I'm tired of having his kids get ours into all sorts of mischief. I'm going right down and talk to Crosby. Well, now, dear, don't forget, our boys have gotten the Crosby boys into a lot of trouble, too. Well, that's Bing's problem. Tonight, I'm going to discuss my problem. Hey, maybe you'd better come along, too, Harriet. After all, the children are half yours. Oh, thank you, dear. <laughs> you know, Ken, my ears are burning. I have a feeling somebody's talking about me. Oh, it's just your imagination, Bing. Yes, I guess so. I've just been upset lately. Lost three football bets in a row. That given points, that's not for me. I wouldn't give points again if Black Fox was playing the army. What a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in Why, it's almost like being in love There's a smile on my face For the whole human race Why, it's almost like being in love All the music of life seems to be like a bell that is ringing for me And from the way that I feel When that bell starts to peal I would swear I was falling I could swear I was falling It's almost like being in love Say, Bing, I was just thinking, as long as we don't have any guests for tonight, maybe I could do a great, big, fat, juicy commercial instead. Would you like that? I mm, think the people would no, love it. Oh, no, you're not going to do a commercial in here if I have to bring my brother Larry down to demonstrate his singing mousetrap. <laughs> Anything but a commercial. Your uh, brother Larry's quite inventor, isn't he? Yes, he just came up with quite a thing, too. It's rubber shoelaces for people who can't bend over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a big order from John Scott Trotter. Yeah. Big order. Uh, excuse me, Bing. I didn't mean to barge in like this, but well, uh, can I see you a minute? Well, Nelson. Hello, Bing. And Harriet. Do come in. Come right in, Well, please. thanks, Bing. We were see, just... See, Ken? Uh, uh, what did I tell you? You leave the door open, somebody's going to wander in. We're set. We're no, loaded. Uh, uh, Bing. Uh, Harriet, we how, are you, to, well, uh, Oz, how have you been? What's uh, new with the Nelsons, hmm? We've got a cat with a crew haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Harriet. Listen, Bing, I How are the have kids, a... Harriet? Uh, how are they coming? They been up to any mischief lately? Oh, you know how it is, Bing. The usual. Those are some kids you got, Harriet. Well, they're half mine, you know. <laughs> that Ricky Nelson, boy, he sure can print. Yes, print? Yeah, last week he came over to the house and changed all our Bing's Day towels into his and hers. <laughs> hey, really? Good, good. Hey, Ozzy, maybe I can make a deal with Dixie to swap linen. Bing, I came down here to see you about something really important. Our children. We sure got a mess of them, ain't we? <laughs> No, it's about the behavior and the conduct of the boys. Well, speaking for my own group, Ozzy, I'd say that their behavior is beyond reproach. You really believe that, Bing? No, and I shouldn't have said it. They might be listening. <laughs> if all your kids listen, how come the hooper isn't a little higher? <laughs> but, uh... We don't let our kids talk on the phone, so don't let them answer that. As a matter of fact, though, Ozzy, I might tell you my boys have been pretty good lately. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, they, they spent the whole afternoon... Raking up every leaf in our yard. I know. They dumped them all in our yard. <laughs> Ricky was missing for three hours. Okay, I'll remove the leaves. I'll get them out of there. But while we're on the subject of dumping things, would you mind bringing your wheelbarrow over and haul away that load of tin cans that your little angels power-dived into my rose garden? <laughs> okay, I'll take away the cans. Oh, don't be silly, Ozzy. Let's keep the leaves. <laughs> Well, Bing, I'll admit that David and Ricky may get out of hand now and now then. Now and then, he says. No, no, mm -hmm. but what about your boys? 
The other day, I saw them driving nails all over Dixie's new station wagon. Well, they were making an armored car. <laughs> Listen, Bing, I feel that if you and I were to get together and supervise the recreation of our kids, all our problems would be solved. Hmm? When they go to school, we'll walk with them. When they come home, we'll walk home with them. Coming home, they run. Well, then we'll run home with them. When they play football, we'll get right in and scrimmage with them. When they go hiking, we'll go hiking with them. When they go swimming, we'll go swimming with them. Okay, but when we go to the rest home, we go alone. (laughs) Ozzy, look, I I really think that you're unduly alarmed about the kids. They're just average, healthy, normal American Indians. Things right sure. after all, boys will be boys. Sure. Yeah, that's the trouble. Boys will be boys. Say, Bing, I wonder if little girls would be easier to raise. We'll never know, Dad. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, tell you one thing about our boys, Ozzy. They got a lot of enterprise. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, sir. Do you know that they're they're in the lemonade business together? Oh, uh, yeah. I hear it's a fifty-fifty uh, deal. Our kids supply the lemons and the sugar, and your kids contribute the water. Well, uh, true Crosbys, they take after their Uncle Everett. <laughs> Heaven for Fen. <laughs> well, Ozzy, now that we've got everything settled, we're uh, in the... Well, comp- no, no, we haven't settled anything. Well, of course we have. You're keeping the leaves, I'm keeping the tin cans, wasn't it, today? So, but, Bing, don't you think that we ought to go into this thing a little deeper? Well, I'll mean, meet this... you Thursday night at the PTA meeting, Ozzy. We can yuck about it at greater length then, but right now... I tell you, we don't have any guests booked for the program tonight. Why don't you and Harriet do a little song for us? Oh, no, we couldn't, Bing. We haven't done any singing in three years. Well, uh, no, I have a better idea. Why don't you sing a song for us, and we'll Well, just sit and relax. Well, what do you want me to do? Well, as I was coming in the building, Uh uh, a chap named Tubby Guerin, I don't know if you know him, he's a song player. Yeah, (laughs) he handed me a professional copy of a tune. Uh, Would you like to try it? Well, I don't know. I wouldn't want to try it cold like this. I'd better have a little rehearsal. Oh, Bing, you're a quick study. Oh, Why, welcome stranger, you were sitting on a riverbank fishing, and all of a sudden you sang a brand new song, My Heart is a Hobo. Oh, well, that was a trick, though. That was a trick. Off scene, they, they had a duck skywriting the words for me. Just... <laughs> That's what I call a very talented duck. Oh, you should see how he's doing now, this duck. He's writing sky ads for Mad Men Months. <laughs> No, use ducks. <laughs> uh, Bing, I hate to cut in oh, on this yes, frivolous in banter, but uh, how about taking a crack at the song? You mean you'd really like to hear me lift my voice in those rich, resonant Philco tones? Yes. Mm. And if you have any trouble, I'll chime in with my international sterling silver tenor. Oh, this should be a beautiful blend. What a blend. Let me have a look at this song. What is, wait, let me see uh, it. Here it is, right here. Oh, it's a mighty pretty cover, isn't it? Uh, 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 look inside. It's got music. It's, uh... <laughs> Say, that looks pretty good. Oh, do you read music, Bing? No, but it goes up and down. I like the way it <laughs> covers a lot of interesting territory. I like those little black dots. They remind me of licorice. Crazy. Yeah, uh, I like licorice, too. If we can have a little mm-hmm. piano, I'll start it for you and show you how it goes. Yeah, I hope I get it right, Ozzy. Well, well just it. follow me, and I'll see you through it in case okay. there's any rough spots. You know, Ozzy, I have a hunch we should have gone to the movie. <laughs> Come on, Ozzy, show me this song now. If you get stuck, I'll, I can always open the window and whistle for my duck. He'll pull us through. How's it going now? Won't you tell me when we will meet again? It's rather an unusual construction. Sunday, mm-hmm. Monday, and always. Oh, I like this. Do you like it? I like, I like this, yes. Yes. If you're mm-hmm. sad, sing it right out. Don't be afraid. I'll be out your side. There's no answer. Sunday, Monday, or always. Like it? Is that it? Oh, he's yeah. sharp, that Crosby. Uh, no need to tell mm-hmm. me. Mike was catchy. I'd like to get my pucker prepared, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my heart begins to pound and... P- oh, this has got drama to it. Oh, I is... thought you'd like it. Oh, this feels good. This has a big bill. I like this. Say, uh, as, as Mel Tommy heard this yet, I'd like to beat him out of the door. <laughs> and what am I to do? Just sing. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Can't I be with you? Oh, it's got a great I chance. Thought you'd Come like in, it. Harriet. Sunday, Monday, or I really feel, Ozzy, that 
this tune is definitely going to be a hit. Oh, just a moment. You haven't heard anything There's more? Yet. Oh, we have special material, a lot of solid I stuff. I figure in it somewhere. Yox, oh, yes, yes. Oh, well, yes. sure, you've got all the comedy lines. Little old me? <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have, kids. Oh, you'll oh, love no, it. Wait till really. you hear it. Let's go. Oh, I'll try. Okay, don't leave me, Harriet. Stand by, Harriet. Right behind you, Father. Okay. As long as you're not in love with anyone else Why don't you fall in love with me? You're driving me crazy, baby, trying to guess Will you tell me no or will you tell me yes? Say, is that song too high for you or is your voice changing? <laughs> but Sylvia wants it to get down the word be. either. Just... <laughs> As long as you're not in love Fire. with anyone else. Get up a Fire. little. Why don't you fall in love Sell it, with baby. me? Hey, he, he made, made it. it. He made it. Oh, why don't you fall in love with me? Hmm. Say, what's the name of this song? Why don't you fall in love with me? Do me? No, no me. <laughs> Let's you and I elope tonight. I'll wear my new suit. Well, I was going to the movies. But you are kind of cute. Why does it say that? Let me see it. You've got to go overboard for someone someday. Believe it or not, it's bound to be. As long as you're not dancing with anyone else, why don't you have this dance with me? Uh, well, Woo! Rex Harrison, come in. <laughs> why don't you have this dance with me? Hey, do you always dance like this? No, sometimes I move my feet. Uh, would you like to go out on Friday? I've got tickets for the fight. Oh, I'm getting married Friday. How about Saturday night? <laughs> you know, I can tell at a glance that I'm using the wrong approach. I'm not being taken seriously. You're being taken, all right, but you don't know it. <laughs> as long as you're not in love with anyone else. Why don't you fall in love with me? He's got a Philco. <laughs> Why don't you fall in love with me? Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, that was great. We ought to get a wardrobe and a route and storm the provinces. Right now, <laughs> Leon Filco, ATC. Thanks, Bing, but let's make way for a brand new Filco discovery. Filco has just put the whammy on the biggest nuisance in recorded music. From now on, no hiss, no squeak, no scratch when you play records with Filco's new electronic scratch eliminator. This exclusive new development from the Filco Laboratories automatically tunes out needle scratch and surface noise. Let you hear all the music in any phonograph record, old or new. Take a couple of your own favorites to your Philco dealer. He'll be glad to give you a free demonstration on Philco's new 1270 radio phonograph. That's fair enough, isn't it? And don't forget, this gorgeous Philco console also gives you the whole works in radio and recorded music, including Philco's new kind of tone arm, the patented dynamic reproducer, and Philco Advanced FM, the first true FM detector ever invented. You'll find them only on a Philco. Famous for quality the world over. From Betty Grable's new picture, here's a ballad that I just must have one more go at. Dan Daly's in the picture, too, and he's great. Who knows how much I love you, you do. No one means more to me than you do. You take December and smile it into May. And then December comes back again. When you're away Who has a charm That very few do Who makes life necessary You do And who can Take my dreams and make my dreams come true. Don't give me three guesses, 
one will do. Thank you, Buddy Cole, for those finely phrased piano passages. That about knocks it for this evening, but before going home, I certainly want to thank the Nelsons for wandering in here tonight. Oh, it was a lot of fun, Bing. We enjoyed it. Uh, I tell you what, Bing, why don't you stop by the house and we'll talk this whole thing over. Talk what over? (laughs) Well, certainly we're going to get (laughs) paid a little something for dropping in. Oh, oh, oh. Ozzy, I don't think you should bring that up. This was just a social call. Harriet, friendship is one thing, business is another. And right at this moment, I'm a hard-headed businessman. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, Ozzy, I'll tell you what I'll do. Next week, I'll make my kids furnish the sugar and the lemons, and your kids can bring the water. (laughs) Well, now, that's Hmm? more like it. You see, Harriet, this evening wasn't a total loss after all. I thought you'd see the light. Say, Bing, you've got a guest for next week, haven't you? Or are you just going to leave the door open again? (laughs) No, no. Next week, Harriet, we have Peter Laurie, the sage of the Finlandia (laughs) band. We also have one of the brightest new action show business. Kay Thompson and the Williams Brothers. Oh, we saw them at Cyril's. They're terrific. Hey, that sounds like a great show. Oh, we aim to please, Ozzy. Keep your eye on your hat and coat, him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say... Say, Ozzy and Harriet. <laughs> While we were singing, um, a fellow named Bunker, who looks suspiciously like he might be from an advertising agency, handed me a little note concerning you. Oh, uh, what does it say? I merely quote... Ozzie Nelson and Harriet Hilliard appeared through the courtesy of the International Silver Company and be, may be heard on their own program every week over another network. Over another network? Yes, I see what you mean, Ozzie. That's the radio for you. It seems that when you're on one network, you can't mention another network. You oh. see, there are hundreds of radio stations on the air every day, and each station devoutly believes that their listeners never touch the dials. It's <laughs> Mm-hmm. If we're up to the networks, Philco would manufacture radios without knobs. <laughs> you know, just for spite, Ozzy, and if we had the time, I'd recite the whole alphabet. Of course, if we did, ABC would still come out first. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. What about C.B.? Mr. Nelson is referring to C.B. DeMille, the well-known uh, <laughs> movie producer. Good night, Ozzy and Harriet, and good night, folks. Good night. Thanks. Good night. was produced and transcribed in Hollywood by Bill Morrow and Murdo McKenzie. Tune in to Philco Radio Time next week and hear Bing Crosby, John Scott Trotter and his orchestra, the Rhythm Airs, and Bing's guests, Peter Laurie, Kay Thompson, and the Williams Brothers. And remember, for tops in radio listening all the time, get a Philco, famous for quality the world over.